Hi, I'm Lauren Royston, Economic Development Director for the City of Novi, and welcome to Corporate Review. Today we are visiting one of our jewel companies here in Novi, Anchor Printing, but it's not what you think. And joining me is our guest, Andrew Waits. Hi, Hi Andrew, how are you today? Great, how are you? Great, thank you for having me here. Thank you for having me, thank you for coming. Yes, I had a wonderful opportunity to meet with uh, individuals here at your company and learn mm -hmm. about your company last year when you first moved to Novi and I said this is a company that more people need to see. Yes, thank so, you. So thank you for having me out here and explaining to the world almost yes. what Anchor Printing is. Yes, it's not necessarily your old school printing company as people think. Okay, so what, so what would you call Anchor Printing? Because when I think of printing, I think, you know, uh, photocopies, business cards, making copies of printed mm -hmm. material. Right. But I know that we tried to, when, we, when you first moved here, we tried to contact you for that and you say, I'm sorry, we don't do that. Right, right. Well, we started in 1947 and we started off as that type of company doing uh, business cards and letterheads and things like that. And about 15 or 20 years ago, we started getting into the label business. And what the labels are, are pressure sensitive stickers. And they're considered labels with uh, that stick on things and uh, whether it's a bread bag or a potato chip bag and things like that. And since then, in the past 10 years, we've morphed into a flexible packaging company. So our main company, our parent company is Anchor Printing Company, but generally a lot of people out in North America know us as Anchor Flexible Packaging. And flexible packaging really means unsupported films, shrink sleeves, um, and stand-up pouches. Okay, so when did you move to this facility? We moved here about a year ago. We are in uh, another uh, city in the Michigan area, and we are in about 15,000 square feet. And we, um, we're seeing explosive growth, um, being that we're one of the only people in Michigan doing what we're doing. And uh, we moved into this facility about a year ago, and um, it's about 80,000 square foot facility, so it's about uh, you know, five or six times bigger than, uh, than what we were in before. That is explosive growth, yes. 15,000 square feet. 80,000 square foot. Yes. You guys are really primed and getting ready for your growth in your business we now. Are. We are. We are. And it's, uh, it's been a great year. We have a brand new facility here and uh, we rehabbed it. it. It looks clean. It looks neat. And it's not what most people think of print shops when they walk through. Well, what are some of the cool features? I know walking right into the lobby, you have the, the denim chairs here in the, in the lobby area. What are yeah. some other cool features? Well, one of the things that we did when we moved in is it was a, a place that was built in the early 80s. So it had, you know, the kind of shag carpet and the vinyl walls <laughs> up. So we totally took, took it all down. And um, in our old plant, we were in what we call the mouse trap, And a lot of the walls were blocking all the windows. And it was just we were trying to deal with the growth. So one of the things that we did when we moved in is we wanted to make it all glass. So everyone at every point within the office can look out and see the beautiful surroundings of our property. So if you look around, all of the, um, all of the uh, instead of walls and such, we have uh, glass, glass doors and things like that. Okay. And another thing that we did is, is that we actually took all the old concrete mm -hmm. and grinded it down to make it look like it was an old school industrial look. Uh, we took out the ceilings and made them look like it was a loft feel um, as well. So um, kind of like a high tech space, but yet in an old school manufacturing world. So industrial meets new age, new exactly. tech. It's moving with the times. Exactly, Excellent. exactly. And I see some wonderful artwork up. And is that of, um, are these pictures that are here in this facility? Yeah, these are uh, pictures that we took in this facility, black and white, to make it look like, you know, the, the old mentality of an old print company, but yet new equipment, new age, things like that. Mm -hmm. So some of those uh, pictures were taken right when we were moving in and some of them are new pictures. So. Okay, so tell me a bit more about the company. You said it started in 1947? Yes. So you've been around a long time. We have been, we have been. And, and we definitely morphed about 15 years ago uh, into the label company. Mm -hmm. And um, from there, it's just been explosive growth because we've uh, angled our way into certain areas of label and now flexible packaging where um, a lot of food packaging and a lot of industrial packaging now is going from containers into um, pouches uh, with spouts or things like that that you see out into the field. Okay, so you have 80,000 square foot of you know, use here. What type of, how many employees do you have here? We have around 45 uh, full-time employees. Mm -hmm. um, we have no temp employees and it's all full-time staff. We run two shifts, five or six days a week. 
um, with Sunday being off and mm-hmm. um, you know we're a very lean company and we lean manufacture a lot of things and we look at it like we have the most high-tech equipment um, and you know not, not it's not much labor and not much labor is intensified um, within our process but it's all brand new equipment and stuff like that oh great so we're lucky to have you here in Novi but I presume you are a national or global company. Yeah, we are, we're global. We ship uh, all over North America, okay. and we also ship uh, into the into Europe as well. Wow! So you have clients everywhere. Everywhere we have them everywhere, and um, what we what we go to is called co-packers or fillers, mm-hmm. and all those co-packers are positioned all over the country, um, and that's who we ship to. And we know their specs and their specifications within each role of how it has to be there, and that's kind of how we positioned ourselves. Oh, great. Now, what are, so what are some of the future plans? I know that you all are now getting comfortable and positioned here in this, in this facility. Now, you've been here about a year, and right. you're, you're moving your elbows and breathing we are, a little bit. Yeah, we, we brought in some new equipment, um, mm-hmm. and actually we are uh, in the process of, uh, actually, in the next few weeks, we'll be GMP certified. So that'll actually be able to angle us into a bunch of new uh, customers as well. Um, and GMP stands for Good Manufacturing Practices, so Excellent. we're able to even get even higher up into the Fortune 50 companies that we already do business with, but now we can go after some of those other ones as well. Okay. Um, and just more equipment, more automation that keeps coming on board here at Anger. Right. And another thing, if I recall, this is a, this is a family business. This is a family business, and this is run by the third generation, and it happens to be myself. It was started by my grandfather in 1947 and um, the reason why we kind of keep the name Anchor Printing um, it leads us a little bit back to our heritage when he was in Europe um, the most important thing in the world to do was to read and if you knew how to read you were the smartest person that there was so when he was in Europe uh, my grandfather's mother told him go be a printer because he had to lay the type in order to be able to read so he knew seven different languages and that's how um, Wonderful. Our family got into the printing business. Okay. Now, have you learned seven different languages yet? I have not. I have not <laughs> learned seven different languages. Unfortunately, uh, English is, uh, is my main language with, with a couple others that are so-so. I understand. The, the, Latin, the Latin languages <laughs> that I can somewhat get you know, from high school I was going to say beyond. that we took in high school. <laughs> right, and beyond. Excellent. So. Well, I think there's so much more to learn. I can't wait to take a tour of this facility. I can't wait to learn about flexible packaging, because that's a term that, you know, I don't think it means what it says. I don't know. It's confusing to me, but I'm ready to learn and learn what's making Anchor Printing a success. So let's go and see some areas of Anchor Printing now. I think we're going to see maybe the production area next. Correct, correct. Well, I'll show you the offices to show you where a lot of the pre-press happens, because a lot of companies send in all their files, and we need to prep them um, to a certain way that it actually goes into our machine and prints. And then we have all the mock-up and digital uh, capabilities here in our facility. Excellent. So it's totally vertically integrated. So we're able to give you a prototype the same day, and then essentially within three to four weeks, you can have your finished product at a co-packer's plant. Excellent, let's go. All right. Mm Welcome back to Corporate Review. I'm Lauren Royston and we're at Anchor Printing here in Novi and my guest today is Andrew Waits and we are now in the production area and everything is full steam ahead right now. There is work being done right now but Andrew's going to tell us a little bit more about this process because I know everything doesn't start here. No. <laughs> no. no. Uh, people would send in their order generally and our lead time is around two to three weeks and we do about 22 to 25,000 jobs a year and everything is uh, order processed through a uh, internal uh, database that we um, have created through the internet and all that's done on the pre-press department and made sure that it's print ready so just because someone sends in their file thinks oh it looks really nice on screen it has to be able to print on our equipment and there's all these different types of equipment and processes that we have 
in our facility. So with that being said, um, from there it's all done and they've created printing plates. And on those printing plates there's all different types of printing plates, whether they're photopolymer or whether they're metal plates depending on what process or press it's being run on. And from there um, they're mounted onto cylinders all over in different areas of staging within our facility. And then from there they are put into the machine and run on a uh, 20 hour a day basis. And hopefully within those two weeks we get it out, it goes into a certain slit or cutting or whatever the size or roll size that the customer likes for their specific plant around North America. Wow, yeah. So with everything that you just mentioned now, I know you said the customer will send you something. Do you all get involved in design at all? We do, we do. We do have a little bit of a department that does do design work um, here at Anchor and uh, actually this year we are starting to get more heavily involved in the design because it's obviously an option that people are looking for. And everyone wants uh, a new design or a new look within their flexible packaging or shrink sleeve and a lot of people just don't understand it. And we're the company that doesn't necessarily make the money on the design aspect of it, we actually make the money on the label or the flexible package. So it's a little bit of a, uh, of a nice relief for an end customer to be able to come here for their design. Now the question of the hour, what is flexible packaging? <laughs> well, flexible packaging nowadays is, uh, if you think about the best example, um, whether it be a protein jug. Um, so a protein jug that you would buy in a store, whether it's a GNC or a vitamin shop, is actually in a big jug, okay? So that big jug is uh, filled with the powder and things like that. And the issue is, is that when it is taken from each phase within the manufacturing process of the jug to the filler to the store to the distributor, uh, there's all those different steps and trucks involved. And what flexible packaging is able to do is that it actually creates a bag or a stand-up pouch. And everyone now is seeing stand-up pouches all over the grocery stores that actually stands up, has a zipper on top, and you peel it back and it's a reusable pouch with a scooper in there or anything else. And also the big thing is is now a lot of pods for laundry detergents and chemicals are starting to go that way as well. Yes. So, okay, so pods would incorporate flexible packaging too. Absolutely, because they're actually going into a stand-up pouch and not a big jug. Okay, and I think I also heard you mention shrink sleeves. Yes, so about uh, when we got into shrink sleeves about four to five years ago, uh, a lot of shrink sleeves were involved back and the history of them is because the Tylenol scare and it's a clear band that goes on the top for tamper proofing. Well a lot of beverages nowadays and a lot of chemicals like the tamper proof and also because it's a 360 degree uh, decoration where it's just not a label on the front, a label on the back or a round label, you're able to contour to the bottle. So in this facility alone we do around 15 million two ounce energy shot shrink sleeves every month. Wow, that is so impressive and so cool. Yes. So I know you have, you mentioned that you're a global company, so that means you probably have quite a few recognizable clients that we won't name today, yes, but we do. just we do. know that when you go to the grocery store, more than likely, your packaging is on the shelf. Whether you go to a grocery store, a Lowe's, or a Home Depot, Menards, or any of those types of stores, uh, all of our product labels or packaging are always on the store shelf, made here in Novi. That is so awesome. So now we're here in the production area. So pretty much everything that you just talked about as far as the packaging and the labeling, that's occurring right here. Yes, we are totally vertically integrated and everything that we do, whether it's uh, printing the film, laminating the film, and pouching the film, or printing the shrink, to slitting it, to seaming it, to inspecting it, is all done right here at this facility and we have chemists on staff to know what oxygen barriers so if there's a food that a certain oxygen over time so we have all these different barrier films that use to help maintain the shelf life of a product as well and we have labs and things like that that we work with as well okay and you also told me that you had over uh 40 45 employees yes. what type of positions are there that you offer here well we have uh whether it's uh, apprentice whether it's a skilled labor, whether it's QC, pre-press, uh, graphic design, um, you know, payables, receivables, all those types of things that help a business you know, run on an everyday basis, we have it here. 
So while you have a really diverse skill required to run this operation. Very skilled here. labor and we, uh, we train all in house and we have uh, manuals and things like that to help so that when someone new comes on board, they hopefully can be up and at it pretty quick. That is so wonderful to hear. Well, I said it, I said it, that everything happens here in Novi. It's a best kept secret. Um, you wouldn't believe the broad reach that a small company here in Novi has globally and doing something as innovative as flexible packaging. So right. anchor printing is not just your everyday printing. No, it's not. No, oh, it's wow. Not. That is so wonderful. Well, again, I want to thank you for sharing information with us today. And we look forward to you continuing to be a Novi company. Yes. And we look forward to seeing you grow as you're here. You know, we want to make sure this 80,000 square foot of facility gets filled up and used to whatever use you need it to use. Absolutely. For. <laughs> Thank you for your support. And the city of Novi has been wonderful to work with. And uh, we're so happy to be here in this beautiful property that's seven acres. And it's. Uh, the deer in the morning are beautiful and it's great. Oh, that's great. And people just don't believe, you know, or, or sometimes they're just in a hurry. They don't know what type of business. And so that's why we love corporate review. We like to get inside, show everyone what's going on at some of these companies. Because sometimes we may just see a sign, right. but now we know right. what's going on here. And it's such a, a, an honor to come in and learn something so very different. Well, thank so, you for coming. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for watching Corporate Review. I'm your host, Lauren Royston, Economic Development Director for the City of Novi. And today we've been at the wonderful Anchor Printing here in Novi. But as always, visit us at investnovi.org. Try our social media, facebook.com slash investnovi. And as always, come to Novi, invest in Novi. Thank you.